All right, let's jump in and get some more mail knocked out. We got some stuff over here and some stuff I've already pulled out. So let's get started. Here's a couple of raw purchases. I've been, I'm picking up a lot of raw lately. You guys have probably noticed with my videos, but um, here's that guy again. I've been picking up some of this guy's stuff. I think the value is there. It's a Bobby Dahlbeck. This is, I believe, his first Chrome Sapphire card. I'm not 100%. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure. Is this 2020 or 2019? I'm, I think it's a 2020. It doesn't say first, though. So I, I don't know, but I know that it's a red Bobby Dahlback out of 15 Sapphire. So, man, he's in a huge market, Boston. He's killing the ball this spring with seven home runs. He has uh, hit eight last year in a short season. So, you know, I like the guy. I think the potential's there, and... The price on his stuff, like I've mentioned before, is really, really low. You can pick up Bobby Dahlback stuff really low, guys. So, um, hope you've been doing it. Next up, another raw pickup. I've been talking about this in my videos. I'm going to keep talking about it. it. Is the Mike Trout Prism Cards. This is the blue baseball. Pick this up for around 55 bucks. This is a 2015, I think. 2015, so 12, 13, 14, third year, 12, 13, four, fourth year Trout Prism card. A PSA 10 in this, there's several out there listed for 12 to $1,500. I picked this up for 50 bucks raw. And I've said it before, these cards are, are in great shape. All you have to worry about really is the surface issue and maybe centering. But as far as the, the corners and edges and stuff, it's thick cardstock. So you're not taking a huge risk when you pick these up raw. But this card looks awesome. I'd love to get this slabbed. Um, I might have picked one of these up in a slab format, guys, in a future video. And you won't believe the price I got it for. I just think that... His second, third, fourth year cards, guys, there's a lot of value. You just got to get out there and look for it. But there's the trout. These next two were pretty big. Um, this is the trout 2019 Bowman's Best Orange Refractor out of 25. And this is not doing it justice. So we're going to pull it out. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I picked this card up. I sent the guy an offer and he accepted it. I think it was $90, between $90 and $100. That's stealing on a Soto second year Bowman's Best Orange Refractor. And I'm giving y'all my secrets, but I'm gonna tell you how I'm doing it. I search for Juan Soto. I do I take out 2021. I take out 2020. If I just want to look for 2018, 2019, I'll do it. I'll do buy it now. I'll do recently added. And then I'll scroll, guys. And this popped out there. And, um, you know, I was just one of the first ones to see it. And so I feel like I stole this card. Matter of fact, I know I did. I can't imagine what one of these would go for in a you know, in a, in, in a graded format. So you put this back in the sleeve. This card is mint, probably gem mint, unless there's a surface issue, but there you go. And the next one was an auction format. And I feel like this, this should have went for way more than what it did. Uh, this is the Juan Soto Blue Chips Orange out of 25 Autograph. Now, I have a an Acuna Blue Chips in an orange, and I know last year I paid more than what I got this for. Um, a good bit more. And, 
And I saw some of these listed in PSA 10s and Beckett 9.5s for ridiculous prices. And, and this one right here went below 500. So I just, I couldn't believe it. I put my bid in and I could not believe no one outbid me. This is a beautiful card. I do not have this. I did not have this blue chips card. So I'm excited to add this to my Juan Soto PC. So just love it. It's a great looking card, man. So we're off to a fire start right now with these three. That's some fire right there. All right. This is a break from the LSU Maniac. Um, I hadn't gotten to as many as I used to. For one thing, it's kind of hard. And, you know, my job, I'm working... I just, I don't catch them sometimes, but I did get into this one. I like the Bowman's best, the Chrome stuff. I'm not really into the the Bowman draft and all that. I just don't know those guys. Half of them don't, 90% of them don't make it. So um, I got into a uh, Top's Finest, or no, this is a Bowman best. And I think, I'm not sure what year this is. This is. Is this 2020 Bowman's Best? I think it is. So anyways, I drew the Rangers, the A's, and the Dodgers were my teams. And as you know, there's not a lot of cards in those boxes. So these are my hits. A Royce Lewis, which I'm just, I'm not saying it's a hit. I'm just saying that's what I got. And then there's a Matt Chapman, which is sticking to this. And then these are my these are my bigger hits right here. I got a uh, Royce Lewis refractor right there. Get those off the side. And a Dustin May rookie card, which I thought this was a refractor. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a rookie card. Maybe it just looked like the refractor on the video. That's a Dustin May rookie card and a. Uh, Royce Lewis, and these are the two big hits. I, I say big hits. Um, it's a uh, Tyler, what is this, Soderstrom? I think he's a catcher. Auto, it's not numbered, but I hit that. That's crazy, I hit two autographs in one Bowman's Best, and this is a refractor of Jesus Lazardo. That's a nice rookie card auto. Again, I... I don't give a hill of beans about either one of these guys. So that's not my team. I don't, those aren't my players. In fact, I don't care much about any of these guys, but those are the, you don't get to choose your team. That's, that's what I don't like, but I know why he does it because then you got a handful of people only wanting five or six teams. And then you got a bunch of teams you got to feel. So you do random. So it feels, and it feels quickly. So, but anyways, Thought I'd show you that. That was a break I got into. And this is a crazy pickup. Don't laugh at me, but this is a uh this was $12. This is a Luis Garcia 5x7 gold, numbered out of 10. Uh like I said, I gave like $12 for this. And the reason I picked this up is I think he's a great player, and he's gonna be a great player, but the Ronald Acuna and Juan Soto cards like this, guys, are going. I mean, they're they're out there on eBay for three, anywhere from three to ninety five thousand dollars. It's crazy, I know. But I was like, you know what? For twelve bucks, a rookie card, gold out of ten. Yeah, I'll take a chance. And if the guy doesn't make it, well, I got me a nice uh, got me a nice paperweight. So, anyways. I figured I couldn't go wrong with that pickup. That's a kind of a crazy oddball pickup. I've never, I never grabbed one of those, but I saw them out there when 2021 jumped out there, and I said, "Hey, I'll take one." I mean, there's only ten. So let's see. Here's another pickup. Oh yeah, we in some basketball. If you got any basketball fans? I picked up some Jordans. 
Don't ask me what year because I cannot remember. I think it's 95. I think these are 95 Jordans. But that's an upper deck. And then there's two of these uh, Double Trouble. Number 3010. You'd be surprised what these are going for graded. All of Jordan's stuff is nuts. Jordan was my favorite basketball player. I never missed a Jordan game growing up on WGN. So I have a uh, I have a small Jordan collection. I don't have a rookie card, but I um, wanted to pick up a few more of his cards and saw these and picked them up. So let's see. Looks like we got one more. Okay, this was another break I got in. And I, I don't remember whose it was. There was a lot more cards, but they were base. I just removed them to get them out of the way. This is the hits. Here's a Phillies catcher, rookie. Another one. A Trent Grisham, Topps Chrome, rookie card. A Tatis. A Soto. A Trout. And another Grisham Chrome rookie card. So I didn't do good, too good in that break, to be honest with you. At least, at least I hit a Soto and a and a Tatis, and those are those are some solid rookie cards. So, but all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. That was only uh, eleven minutes, so that's not bad. There's your quick recap. A couple breaks I was in, some Jordans, and then in my opinion, we got the Dahlbeck Sapphire Red out of fifteen. But in my opinion, these are the three that that stole the show. That's the. Orange out of 25, Soto Blue Chip from 2019. The Soto Orange 2019 Bowman's Best out of 25. And the Mike Trout Blue Baseball Prism. Are these numbered? No. That's just a Blue Baseball Prism from 2015. So, All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.